Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. We have just arrived at the La Sportiva Legends Only competition. This year it's a turn of the women to absolutely crush it. Now we're in Sweden, as you can see we've been here before, check out last year's footage if you remember that. Now the athletes get to practice the finals problems because they're simply so difficult and that's why we're here. Now we thought we'd do something a bit special and a bit different today and film one of our live, sort of live, uh, Climbing Daily episodes where basically we film it on a nice camera with nice audio and pretty much give it to you raw from the camera. So let's head in, take a look at the competition wall, see what the athletes are up to. So let me explain to you how this works if you don't know. This is an invite only competition, so only athletes who are at the very top of their game get to come here and show off in front of the audience basically. Now I've got the list, oh Hugo there's leads behind, Hugo as I said this is live so if Hugo falls over I do apologise. Um, uh, the list of athletes, I'm going to read it so I don't get it wrong. We have uh, Francis Fanny Joubert, who I interviewed at the Natural Games quite a while back. Uh, we've got Melissa Lenev, also from France. We've got the UK Shauna Coxie, fresh off wrapping up the bouldering uh, overall win for the IFSC this season. We have uh, Katja Kadic from Slovenia. We've got Stasia Gijo from Serbia. I think I said that right, I probably didn't. And we have Petra Klinger from Switzerland, uh, who is one of my favorite people in climbing. She's just awesome. So behind me is the comp wall here at the Akala Gym in Sweden. And as you can see, it's, it's absolutely huge. On this far right-hand side, as you look at it, there's the overhanging section where things get a little bit thuggy. As you can see, a kid crushing it on the warm-up holes. If we move uh, from right to left, we come into this red problem here, a bit more slabby, still overhanging though. Moving left further still, there's a cool looking prow feature with these slopey looking blue holes and Melissa Lenev was, while well, he's still trying to work out the sequence for that. And finally we end up in this, it's not a slab area because it's still, still well, it's still <laughs> pretty featured, but uh, I have a little feel of the hand holds and the foot holds there and they're incredibly, incredibly slippy. So that's the part where the athletes get to bust out their technique instead of just pure power. So let's come around and see if we can find uh, Mr Bjorn Borg, who is the the mastermind behind this event. Every year uh, he sets it up. Sorry? Does it say Bjorn Borg? Not, not Bjorn Borg, obviously. Um. <laughs> it's live TV, ladies and gentlemen. And you know me in names. Uh, let's see if we can find him. So coming down, we've got, what's kind of cool about this competition is that it's, because it's this kind of format where the athletes get to practice it, Sorry guys, step over here. It's not as, uh, not as stressful as other competitions. The athletes work together to kind of work out the problems and it's all kind of like a very cool atmosphere. Let's come down over here. Bjorn is brushing a hole current, so I'm gonna go and nab him if we enter the mats here. Sorry guys, can I sneak through? Thank you very much. There's Fanny Joubert. Fanny, hey. How are you doing? How are you finding the problems so far today? Uh, they are really good, really interesting. There is a little bit of everything and very different move, different style. It's really cool because everyone can show the best of his climb in every style. So yeah, it missed me some few moves, but I'm pretty good on the one I'm good at, so it's cool. <laughs> The atmosphere is a bit different from normal competitions because you guys get to work it together, you get to kind of work out the beta on it. How much of a difference does that make to, to your feeling as an athlete? Well, it, it's completely different because we can share beta, we can share a sensation and it's really interesting because it not happen very often to climb with girls at this level because we are really few girls are climbing like this. So it's a very cool opportunity to climb all together like this. Awesome, I know you've got limited time, so I'll let you get back to it, but uh, best of luck today and good luck in the competition. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, the athletes practicing away, we've got uh, Petra Klinger on this horrible blue looking prow here. It's got this move, terrible right foot, which everyone keeps popping off, and you've got to reach all the way around the corner, loads of core strength involved. Now we don't want to give too much away for you guys because obviously half the fun of this is seeing the athletes compete uh, on Saturday night on these problems for real. Hugo, watch your back, you might get landed on them, mate. Um, so we're not going to show you too much, but what we are going to do is have a chat with Bjorn who looks like he's free over there. So we're going to sneak around the back. Sorry, mate. Not sorry. Bjorn, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm good, man. Are you? Very good, I'm very good. I love the moustache. This is new since I saw you last. <laughs> it's new since three days. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Thank you for having us again. It's really cool to be here. Thank you for coming. Awesome. Tell me about the problems this year. Like, have you set them differently? Are the route set has been particularly evil? Just sort of take me through the, the kind of routes on offer here. Well, that is such a good question. You should really ask a route setters. But uh, I mean, this year it was different. Is that they actually got to choose more of the holes themselves, uh, so they could make a plan beforehand. Uh, so what we can see is really four problems that are very different to each other. Uh, with each each uh, problem is one brand, so different sets of holds really, or volumes mostly. We were just saying we don't want to give too much away, so we're not going to show too many of the problems before Saturday night. Right. We, we've had a little glimpse, but there's, there's all types of offers. We've got the thuggy stuff down the end where the overhang is, and yeah, the more yeah. technical climbing down in this left with the slab. Exactly, exactly, exactly like that. And then we also have the uh, surprise secret problem that no one can see anyway. Because uh, that's new for this year, that we're going to have four problems that you can work. They work for two, three hours. Uh, and then we have this secret on-site problem. Last. That's cool, because last year, obviously, every, program, every, every problem got worked and tried, and this year it's just totally different. Yeah, well, it's not totally different. It's still four problems that are worked and tried, but the last one, well, we saved the, uh, something special for the end. <laughs> when you say that, I get a little bit terrified oh. for the athletes. Um, yeah, mate, th thank you for having us. And just because people who haven't seen this before, behind us is where, well, not thousands, hundreds of people are going to be lined up. Yeah, just describe like the atmosphere a bit. Well, it's going to be a great as atmosphere with uh, like 600 screaming people here. So, yeah, you'll see on Saturday, yeah? You've been here. <laughs> I've been here, this is true. <laughs> How hard to describe, obviously. It, it is hard to describe because like thousands, well, hundreds of screaming people, it just creates this unique kind of atmosphere. It, now your job is done, do you get to go home tonight and have a beer and just chill out a little bit? Is, has the stress gone for you or does that disappear on Saturday? Well, everyone's here. That, that's like the first big thing that, uh, that's really stressful. But uh, no, I'm not going home to have a beer tonight. I'm, we're going out having dinner and uh, tomorrow is some activities as well. And then uh, on Saturday is the big, big show. And I, I'm, not, I'm not hoping for hundreds of screaming people actually, but millions in front of computers. Tell everyone where they can watch the live stream. Well, they can watch the live stream on uh, Unilad's Facebook page and on La Sportiva and on uh, Kletacentret and on Petzl. Awesome. And probably more. I mean, it's also going to be a stream on YouTube. So. Well, it would be easily findable. Findable? That's not a word. Yeah. People will be able Maybe to find it. TV as well. I don't know. We'll talk about that. We have a, we have a sneaky plan now. Bjorn, love to see you again. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. See you later. Okay, let's see who else we can find here. So Petra's just working her route, and we've got Liam over there. So Liam Longsdale. Hey, Liam, how you doing? You, mate, how are you? I'm all right, yeah, I'm good, actually. All right. Yeah, really good. Just tell us about what your role is at this event. What, what are you doing here? Well, today I'm brushing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm here as the presenter slash commentator, um, which is rare because normally it's one or the other. Uh, but with this comp, we like to do things a little bit differently. Uh, and speaking of doing things differently, I've got a co-host this year, which is cool. I'll be joined by Alex Magos for the duration of the event. Um, and we're going to basically be splitting the responsibilities between us. What that looks like at the moment, not really sure. But Alex and I know each other very well. And we're going to have some fun with it. Awesome, man. Well, uh, when everyone's following me on your Instagram sees you two having a good time, so can't wait to see that live yeah. on a live stream, which would be real. Yeah, they're really good. Having seen, having brushed these problems, how excited mm -hmm. are you to put that out there and, and for everyone to see how cool these things really are. Well, I did actually climb on them as well as brushing. I'm just brushing now because I don't want the girls to look, you know, stupid. Um, honestly, like the boulders are really cool. The setters, I, I really believe the guys at Kletter Center are some of the best setters in the world. They're very, very creative. Their attention to details, immaculate uh, and impeccable, all the ims. Um, I think what's most exciting is the, the style that they managed to force and then the way that the girls or ladies adopt that style. Um, all the setters are, are tall. They're all probably like 180 or above. They're all wide. They're, they're all guys and they're strong in the shoulders and very much into compression moves. And you know, most of the, the ladies are shorter and narrower than those guys. So seeing that kind of translate and how they work out those, those moves is, is really cool. I want to show a tiny bit of a problem, just just not all of it, just a tiny bit, which is this foothold, which is very, very, very slippy. Okay, that's it. Don't don't show too much here. We can't give this away. But uh, yeah, really, really tricky problems. Let's see if we can have a wander down. So the athletes are kind of they're starting to chill out now because this is they've been working it for a couple of hours. Uh, it's almost six o'clock here. So I want to walk down and see if we can find Petra Klinger. 
have a little chat with her. Yeah. Petra, so nice to see you again. Um, I should explain, we're trying to do this live, but I grabbed Petra just now and she had a mouth full of food <laughs> and I just felt bad about trying to do that to her. Um, Petra, how's it all going for you today with the, with the practicing the problems? I mean, it's amazing. The boulders are so hard, but so much fun to try. I'm exhausted, I must say. My shoulders especially are just overdue to go to bed. <laughs> I, I heard that someone was saying that the, the people who have set the roots out are like very tall, very strong, very shouldery men. Have you noticed that kind of a style in there? Yes, well, the moves are long. Sometimes I really have difficulties keeping the tension on my foot. So I kind of feel it, but it's also my style. So I like this style. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, you're never too short in my opinion. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Um, obviously, you compete in the IFSC all the time. Um, this is totally different, Kettle of Fish, for that. But just tell people who don't know the differences why this is so different. Well, the main difference is really that you can practice on the boulders. So we had three hours time today to practice four of the problems. And then we have three tries the day after tomorrow. And an extra boulder we couldn't try. So I'm really gonna you know, be interested in this one problem as we have now a little taste of the, the setting style. I have no idea what it expects us, but that's a big difference. And I mean, it's really fun just being here, six athletes, trying together, changing solutions. Sometimes my solution doesn't fit me in the end, but someone else. And it's funny to see the progress you make and with this opportunity, I think you can really do hard problems and on a really, really high level. For people looking at home, just because you guys get to practice it, it doesn't make it easy on the night. No one's going to be like smashing everything because this is, this is super difficult, aren't they, these? Yeah, I think especially the pressure. I mean, you know you did it, you did the move, and to do it again in a couple of tries, the whole boulder, link it together, it's going to be really hard. Well, Petra, best of luck on Saturday. I'll let you get back to eating and uh, <laughs> chilling out a little bit. Uh, thanks for speaking to me. Thanks so much. See you later. Well, I think we're going to sort of wrap it up there, actually. Um, it, it's, I, I keep banging on about it. The atmosphere is just so different from any competition. Just because these guys practice these boulders, just because they're having a session, does not make it a given. We are not going to see everyone flashing these. these. These are about as hard as you'll ever see in a competition, and that's what makes it unique. Make sure you change. Ch uh, make sure you tune in. Can't say that today to the live streams uh, on sort of all social media platforms, and hopefully on the Epic TV website. Uh, it's also Black Friday, so make sure you check out the deals for Black Friday on the Epic TV shop because they're going to be some absolute bargains. We'll be filming on Saturday night. We'll bring you the highlights reel next week. So keep an eye out for that as well. For those of you who watched all the way to the end of this mammoth episode, well done. Hugo, thank you for holding the Ronin for so long. He's a star. I'll see you soon. <laughs>